is that that warrant isn't me. Am I good to go? That felony warrant? Yeah, but I'm almost hundred. I don't think. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's going to be you. But it wasn't. A young black man jailed on a warrant for a white man twice his age. It is a story that had many of you talking after our 8 News Now I team first reported it earlier this year. Now we have the videos. The I team's David Charns with this exclusive report and the city's new response. Yeah, Brian, it is a case of mistaken identity that's the subject of a federal lawsuit. A young man with the same name as a felon caught in the middle of this mix up. We filed a public records request for these videos, and as you will see, we received them with the officers' faces blurred. Stop you because you didn't have any headlights on at all. This is how Shane Brown's nightmare began. All right, uh, let me see your driver's license. It's 4:44 in the afternoon on January 8th, 2020. Henderson police pull him over. I do have a uh, warrant with you guys, but okay. I have a court date tomorrow. Actually, to take care of all. Brown telling the officer he'll be in traffic court the next day. My license is also suspended for that reason. I'm taking for care of all. Tomorrow. Yeah, I'm taking care of all that tomorrow. He doesn't have his license with him, but he gives his name. What's your uh, middle name? Me. Uh, his birthday and social security number. Here, just go ahead and get out. He's Officer is asking Brown to get out of the car since his license is suspended. As Brown sits on the sidewalk, the officers say this about his court appearance the next day. He has court tomorrow. Then we think no arrest him. How do you but within minutes, everything changes. So we got to figure some stuff out. You got arrested for something with a weapon. And that's wrong. At least that's what they're saying. It doesn't ring a bell because this Shane Brown, a black man in his 20s, has never met this Shane Brown, a white man in his late 40s. Las Vegas Metro Police want this Shane Brown on a felony gun charge. When officers in Henderson tell this Shane Brown he's a wanted felon, he's understandably confused. Oh, I've been arrested, but everything I've been arrested for is violation. Officers don't buy that answer, arresting him on that felony. Felony warrant. Coming back totally matching you. Not much else. Yeah, I've never been arrested for. for so do me a favor, but just put your hands right behind your back for me. In my opinion, I'm not sure how that warrant comes back tied to this young man here. We showed the videos. He's very confused. To retired Nevada State Police Captain Scott Martin. So, as someone who did internal affairs, is this something you might investigate? Yes. Isn't it on them rather than on him? It's been my experience and it's my opinion that an investigation out on the scene has to take place to be able to be 100% sure. Oh, my social's in there too. Okay. I, I just remembered that. You want to check that out? The wrong Shane Brown, this one, pleads with officers to double check, knowing he's not the one wanted on a weapons charge. The officers speaking with each other again. Whether it is or not, it, it, there, I, I call this badge just pinging off of his social, so it's a no bell warrant off his yeah. weapons charge. So, so what do we want to tell the jail? Uh, he has weapons. He has a weapons charge. Could the records have been wrong? There could have been a mix up with his social security number with the other warrant for the traffic citation. The I-team found the no bail warrant for this Shane Brown features the unique ID number police agencies in Southern Nevada all share. A search with that ID number would have brought up at least these two prior booking photos for this Shane Brown, the most recent one taken months before the younger Shane Brown was now in handcuffs. How well, long is that, that warrant is it me? Am I good to go? That felony warrant? Yeah, but I'm almost 100. I don't think, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's going to be you. Court records the I team located attached to the ID number and the warrant show this Shane Brown is white, born in 1971 with brown hair and blue eyes. If we could do it, couldn't they have done it? Absolutely. I couldn't believe that they didn't find or that they did not figure out that he's not the right Brown. The wrong Shane Brown ended up spending two nights at the Henderson jail. Two days later, Brown boarded a bus, spending four days here at the Clark County Detention Center. Corrections officers there rebooking him, giving him an ID number different than the Shane Neal Brown police actually wanted. Your Honor, we have a major issue 
on this case. As you might it wasn't until January 14th, six days after that traffic stop, when a public defender tells the judge the wrong Shane Brown is in custody. The Shane Brown, who is the defendant in our case, has a separate ID number, and he is a 49-year-old white male. The judge had this reaction. Make sure that the Shane Brown is in custody gets released. Uh, immediately. And he was. Metro, which operates the Clark County Jail, previously telling the I team it does not comment on pending litigation. That's what the city of Henderson first told us, too, after we reported this story earlier this year. They followed up with us saying Brown was, quote, correctly arrested on those traffic offenses. Tonight, and after you just heard one of those officers say arresting Brown, if he's in court tomorrow, could be, quote, dumb, they tell us his arrest was lawful again on those traffic offenses. A spokesperson, though, adding this, we regret that he was misidentified in our system and have put measures in place and improved training procedures to prevent this from happening in the future. We did not receive a response to our specific questions about those procedures or what happened to the officers. I'm David Charns, live, local, now.